my travel makeup bag. I'm going to California this week, so I thought this video would be appropriate, and I love watching these kind of videos. So, the bag that I have is pretty large. This is called the Ultimate Weekender from Sony Kashuk. The print is adorable, not to mention. I got this at Target. It retails for, I believe, $30. I had a coupon, so I actually got it for like $23. It has so many compartments, everything I could ever ask for to put all of my makeup in here. I will be putting my skincare in a separate bag, but all of my makeup and brushes will go in here. So let's go ahead and jump into what's in my bag because I'll be gone for about a week, so I needed to pack a lot of things. Well, when you unzip the right side, this is what you see. You can see on this side, there's a little pouch for your brushes, a little protector, a zip pocket right here and right here, and then a bulk of makeup on this side. So first on this side, I have foundations. All in there, I have my Urban Decay D Slick. I have my CoverGirl Stay Fabulous foundation, which I'm bringing. I'm actually going to be mixing that with my L'Oreal Lumi. So I'm going to mix my L'Oreal Lumi and CoverGirl Outlast foundation. I have my MAC Fix Plus water. That's going to be for a face refresher. The only primer I'm bringing is Hourglass Mineral Veil because it's waterproof and it'll keep me matte. And then I'm also bringing my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation just because I love it. And it's really natural looking on the face, but it gives full coverage. So all of those go in the zip pocket. All of my brushes will go right here. I just haven't put them in yet. In this tiny zip pocket, I have my Tweezer Man Ultra Precision Tip Tweezers, which I love. And my lash glue. Then on this big zip pocket right here, I put all of the stuff that's like powdery and shadowy that I don't want to break, so I put it on this pocket. I have two pairs of lashes, Nor Fairy by House of Lashes and Ardell Demi's. Then I have MAC Melba Blush, my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I'm bringing my MAC Double Definition Powder. My MAC Whisper of Guilt as a highlight. That's the only highlighter I'm bringing. Then MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer, of course, I'm bringing that. My MAC Eyeshadow in Deeply Dashing. Then I'm bringing my Naked Basics palette because it has a lot of good neutral shades. NARS Coconut Grove, which I just did a tutorial with. I'll be bringing that. My Whitening Lightning Brow Bar to go, and don't make fun of it, I dropped it and the top broke off, so I have to hold it together with a hair bow. That for my brows. My Bahama Mama bronzer from the Balm. Um, I'm bringing NARS Madly blush. This and Melba are really the only blushes I'm bringing because it's just a beautiful bronzy sheen. And then I'm bringing my MAC Pro palette as well. So now for the other side. It has two of these removable clear cases and then it has a little pocket right here. I haven't put anything in there yet, but mainly this makeup's just on this side. So... In this one, I have mostly eye products. I stuff these both full. I have my MAC Chromographic Pencil for the waterline. It's a nude color. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. My NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk when I want like a really stark white waterline. And then my Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof in Brown for the waterline. Then I have my Bobbi Brown Peach Corrector for under the eyes. Don't make fun of my nails either because I need a fill. I'm getting them done tomorrow. Um, my CoverGirl Corrector Concealer for under the eyes. I brought a lot of concealers because I'm running out of them, so I didn't know if I'd run out of any. Maybelline Neutralizer. It's also a bright under eye shade. Then for mascara, I'm bringing Maybelline The Rocket, even though I'll probably be wearing falsies every day. My MAC Dip Down Fluid Line for the brows. And eyeliner. I use that as eyeliner a lot too. My MAC Studio Sculpt, Studio Sculpt, Studio Finish Concealer, excuse me, NC20 for the brows, and I use it for blemishes. My MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot for a primer on my eyes. And then I also brought a mini primer potion I got as a perk from Sephora. It's a good little travel size. Then my L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner. I've been trying this out, so I'm bringing that. My L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Liquid Diamond. Then I'm taking two Maybelline Color Tattoos. This limited edition one in Gold Shimmer. It's my favorite one. It's from the Fall Collection. 
And then Bad to the Bronze, of course. I'm sure most of you guys have this one for all over the lid sheen. And then lastly for the eyes, I have the NYC Liquid Liner. So first I have the Caress Lip Butter in Wava. I love this and I'll put it over matte lipstick so it's not so drying. My Rosebud Solve. I love the Minted Rose better, but I need to use up this one. This is for at nighttime. Then my MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. It's getting pretty tiny. This is my favorite lip pencil ever. Then I'm bringing MAC Heroin Lipstick, which is purple. I tried to kind of plan out what lip colors I wanted to wear so I didn't pack too much. Then Re Re Woo from MAC. I love this. I'll do a red ombre lip one day. Revlon's Lilac Pastel Gloss, which is a purple. Then Maybelline Color Whisper and Lust for Blush. This is just a great everyday color, and it's no fuss, so I'll probably wear this like on the airport and stuff. Um, NYX Butter Gloss and Tiramisu. Um, Matte Candy Yum Yum. Can't go wrong with hot pink, right? Especially during summer. Matte Cream Cup. This is my favorite MAC lipstick, so I figure I'll use it if, I don't know, I always use it at some point. Max Cherry Lip Liner. I got this the other day. I'm obsessed. Max Evil Glam Gaga 2. My favorite nude. I had to bring this. Mac Ablaze. So a corally lipstick. I wanted to have one from every family just depending on what kind of makeup I want to do or what kind of mood I'm in. And then Max Kind of Sexy. The name smudged off somehow. This is another one of my favorite nudes. Then I'm bringing my MAC Tender Tone in Hush Hush. This will be another one of those if I don't want to wear any lip color. And it has SPF, so if we go to the pool or something, I'll wear this. Another NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. MAC Night Moth Lip Liner. And then I also have, I forgot to pack this one, MAC Magenta Lip Liner. I'll be using this for heroin and some other pinks, and then Flower Lipstick and Rosebud, one of my favorite reds. And then I can't go without my Sephora pencil sharpener. Literally, this is the best pencil sharpener I've ever used. It sharpens them, doesn't break them, and you waste minimal product. So that's everything in my travel makeup bag. I hope it was helpful. Now, if I was just going away for a weekend, I normally wouldn't pack this much makeup. But I'm going to be there for almost a week, and I like to switch up my makeup, so that's why I packed that much. And honestly, that was probably me cutting it down because I love to have options. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!